It's, um, the word branding is, I think, uh, very confusing for a lot of people. You know, if you're just starting out on business or you're, you're a solopreneur and, and you want to, you've got a product or a service that you want to offer the world, you know that you can make a difference to the world with your product or service and you want to get it out there. And, you know, it can be, it can be really confusing, especially if you're competing against bigger brands, you know, people that are already seen by the world. And so, you know, last week we talked about you as the brand because you are a value, you are an asset, and you yourself are a brand. And your business is an asset. And why is your business an asset? Your business is an asset because your business is where the money comes through. People pay you for a product or a service. Your business is about the results. Your business is about the results that you get. You are the value. Your business is about the results. So how does it all connect together? How do you connect your you the individual, you as the brand, you as a value to your business. Now, I just like to just, just in case you missed last week, just give you a snapshot of what you mean. You see, the marketplace, we, we, we are living right now in the largest entrepreneurial era ever in the history of business. There are more people out there in the marketplace want, wanting to do their own thing, get rid of the boss, you know, work from home, make more money. And whether that be part-time, full-time, uh, sometimes there is a huge market out there now with people wanting to sell their service or product. And because of this, there is information overload. There is a marketplace that is so crowded that, you know, you can get lost in the market if you do not do this the right way. And the biggest challenge that everybody has, and I'm going to, I know that this was a problem, you know, that I personally had, because it's all about who you are. If you have a value that you want to offer the world, if you have a product or a service that you personally are selling, then you need to be confident in who you are so that you can present yourself to the world with confidence and certainty. You need to develop unconscious competence about who you are and the product and the service that you are the value behind. So what does that mean? Well, you decide that you're going to go into business. You have a, a desire to own your life. You have a desire to have that freedom to be able to live life exactly as you want to. You have a desire to be able to give you and to give your family more, to give you more. You have a desire to choose what you want to do every day. You just have a desire to just live better. Then you make the decision that you're going to do it. Now, you may make a decision that you want to get an advancement in your job or, you know, you're part of a corp corporation and you would like to advance through that. Well, that's also, that's also depending on your value because whether you're in a corporation, a job or a business, your personal growth is going to be dependent on you knowing and seeing your value. But we are talking specifically today about you and your business. So if you are stuck in that limiting belief that you don't deserve it, you've got the desire and you've made the decision to do it, but this, this unconscious programming that drives your life is telling you that you're not worthy, you don't deserve it, you, you, you just, you know, that limiting, those limiting beliefs and negative programming are forming the core of what's driving you. And if you have this crap going on, wh whatever that is, then this is going to stop you from two things, seeing your value and stepping out into the world and owning your value. And if you would like to make more money, live a better life, live a bigger purpose, make a bigger difference, then the only place to start is with you and so we did this we talked about this in depth last week but I just wanted to as I said if you missed last week this is this is this is a snapshot of what we're talking about and you can go to smart coach 7 tv 
com and you can listen to the whole session of last week and really grab your pen and take notes tick what you're doing tick what circle what you're not doing and then you'll have oh my gosh I didn't even know about that so do that because if you truly want to make a bigger difference live a bigger purpose and make more money to live a better life then you need to start with you unconscious competence simply means that your desire and your decision which is two percent of who you are two percent needs to be 100% aligned with your 98% unconscious brain that that is where your belief drives your life. And if you have any parts of that that is telling you that you're unworthy, you don't deserve it, then you will fail. And that is a promise. So this is why this is why branding and getting your brand right and branding is so important to your success. So if you are the value, number one, if you've got to see it, you've got to own it, you've got to know it, you've got to believe it, you've got to just step out every single day and do something different, do something bigger, do something better. If you're on the treadmill doing the same old thing every day, living life with excuses, whether they be unconscious or conscious, because sometimes we can have those excuses that are part of the belief, you don't even know are there. But if you're not getting the results that you want in life, then you need to go deeper. You need to go deeper into that unconscious and just get rid of it. Walk past it, rub it out, just get rid of all that stuff that could causing you, that could cause you to fail. Okay, that's number one. Unconscious competence means that your 2% conscious brain is 100% aligned with your 98% unconscious brain. I, I see it. I want it. I'll do it. Yes. That is when you will start to truly Live the life that you deserve. Remember, I see it. I, I see it. I want it. I do it. Yes. Okay. So that is where you as a value, why you need to know your value is so imperative when it comes to your brand. Why is that important? Because you're driving your business. You are driving your business. So first off, you have to see your value. Now let's jump into the business box. What is the service and product that your business offers? What is the product or service that your business offers? Now, here's some questions that you need to answer. Do you believe 100%? Do you have that unconscious competence? You know, see it, believe it, do it, yes. That your business is going to give your potential clients a results because your business is the result. So do you believe that? Do you believe that unconsciously? Absolutely. Remember, I'm going to repeat myself here because this is the, the number one key step to your success is all mental. Want it? See it? Do it? Believe it? Boom. Yes. And if you do that, then your business will start to, will start to take on a whole different energy. If you have any doubts, any fears, any concerns, procrastination if you have any of this pain in the crap that could be stopping you then this comes through unconsciously remember energy is is projected unconsciously we don't just go boom energy on well we can if that's a brain anchor that's a, that's a whole nother story but energy comes unconsciously once you start working on yourself and start seeing the value of you and then hopping into that business box and truly, truly believing that your business, as I said, whether it be a product or a service or both, can change people's lives. You own it, you step into it, you sell it, your life will start to change. This is something I can promise you. We get, we get so concerned because too many people think that their business brand is a logo, a website. I was talking to somebody the other day. Oh yeah, I'm getting my website up. I'm just thinking about my website. But this person hadn't done any work on who she was, what, what her values and philosophies were, what, what, value, what value her business actually offered and, and the people that she wanted to attract. She saw her brand as being a website and a logo on the website. Well, yes. These form part of your marketing and your branding assets. But before you develop your branding assets, you must know what your business, you must first off believe that your business can change somebody's life without doubt. Remember, want it, see it, do it. Yes, remember that. 
because that is where you need to start. So let me ask you some questions. What does your product or what does your business do? Uh, do you have a product or a service or do you do both? So I want you to take notes on this. What is the value that your business offers? What is the result that that value gives your potential client or your clients? So if you already have clients and, and you're making money, but you're stuck, you're just finding it hard to grow or scale or just, you know, have that phone ringing more often, then you need to stop and think about what gaps you have. And I can tell you almost 100% that the number one gap is going to be you. Remember, you are that value is you and what is going on mentally. We had a session with our coach last week and he talked he talked with a gentleman called Adam Goffey and Adam has is a billionaire three times over and built 50 something businesses and when JT asked him what what is what is what is what is one message you can give out to the world and I've already said it once but I like to give credit where credit's due because it's really interesting isn't it we how many thousands of mindset coaches are out there in the world thousands and it's wonderful because if you've got one coach that's helping one person get their head right that's wonderful but the truth is that only seven percent of the population truly become millionaires multi-millionaires seven percent why because the 93 percent don't work on the mental and said that the key, number one key step to all success is mental so if you are not getting the results in your business, if you're not making the money, if that phone is not ringing, you have to go back to the you part of your brand and figure out what's going on in here. You need help, reach out. This is what we are authorities on. We are experts on brain training and mind development. So reach out, but you have to want to do the work. You got to get rid of the excuses. You got to just do it. The fastest way to rewire this is to take a new action is to take a new action. Be honest with yourself. Go deep inside. Get rid of the, just, just don't even care about the crap. Walk straight past it. Just walk straight past it. Don't see it. You know, we always are continual. Brain training is not something that you reach. You are always training your brain because brain feeding is the only way that you grow. But I have seen and I see a huge big white rubber in my brain. And if my negative thinking overtakes my positive energy and how I'm feeling, then I have this big white rubber and I just rub it out, completely erase the negative thoughts. You want to have a three to one ratio, three to one ratio, anything greater than that, you have you have more negative thoughts than positive thoughts, you will fail. And I, I'm, I'm being completely honest with you here. So if you want to see your see your brand above the noise and in front of the crowd, I'll go back to it. You have to be honest with yourself. Get rid of those negative, those, that negative thinking. As I said, I've got this big, big white rubber and I just rub it out. And then protect yourself. Protect, protect who you hang around with. Watch the conversations you have. When you're having conversations with people that are negative and drain your energy and you feel like you're dragging people behind you, you will, you just, it's all about energy management. For you to see your value and believe your value and offer excellence and be outstanding, because those are our two favorite words, be excellent and be outstanding, then you have to know that you have you have to you have to be mindful of the energy that you surround yourself with. And if you hang out with people that drain you and go, then you know that you're around the wrong people, or you weave in and out of, in and out of those people's lives. You have to work on building you your value you have to work it's a daily it's a daily activity and if you're not making the money in your business and that phone isn't ringing then the only thing that you need to focus on right now is what is going on in here and brain train every single day it has to be number one now you know this is all really relative because when you get to your business if you if you've got the confidence and you believe in yourself and you you're projecting that positive energy because if you're, if you're letting those automatic negative thoughts, let's call them ants, if you're letting these ants drive your life, then that is going to project unconsciously out into the world. And your business is going to, your business is going to project that same energy because who you are, your values, your philosophy, your energy trickles down 
into everybody that works in your business and your whole business energy. Remember, we attract who we are. And if your business gets these results and you have this value that you believe in you, you know, that unconscious confidence, and you believe that your business does as well, then you are going to project success and you're going to attract success. People are attracted to confident, successful people. And as I, as, as I started out speaking this morning and talking about how the world, the world is information overload, there's more entrepreneurs now floating around in our marketplace ever, ever in the history of business. And people who want to spend money on being better, and it doesn't matter whether they're buying a pair of shoes, whether they're buying a coaching program, or whether they're investing in a multi-million dollar business, it doesn't matter what it is that people are looking for. They are looking for the best. People will pay money for the best. So how do, how do you position yourself as the best because if you've got the people in the marketplace looking for what you have and they're walking through all of this noise and all of this busyness it can be confusing and I know we know for a fact that people get stuck and they and they get attracted to talk 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 a lot of people are great talkers a lot of people tell you what they think you want to hear but you've got to know who you are. You've got to know what your values are personally, what your philosophies are, and you need to then take them into your business. What are your values and philosophy that you run your business by? And you step out into the world every single day and you do that with excellence. That is the only place to start. You know what you do, and you might be a great shoe shop sale. You may have a great little shoe shop. You may have an amazing cafe. You may be a brilliant coach. You may, you, may be, you may be CEO of a huge company. Your success is going to be determined by the value that you yourself present and then the value and the results that your business gets. And because the noise in the marketplace is so busy, you have to function in excellence and be outstanding. This cannot be, this is not something that can be questioned. This is not a discussion to be debated. And yes, I know words have, mean, words have meaning and people interpret the meaning of words differently. We all have a different perception. So how do you know what excellence and outstanding is? Go look at your competition. What is your competition doing? If your business gets these results, what, is, what results are your competition getting? And now what is your uniqueness? What is your differentiation? What is the different result that your business offers? What is your differentiation? What value do you bring to your business that is different to a competition? Because you can have a little bit of both. You can have a business that's making a lot of money because they've got a product or a service that the marketplace wants. But the people running the business may not have any idea how to do it. That's just, you know, I guess that's called luck. But luck doesn't last you need to start with the right mindset, brain feeding, and the right foundation so that you can have a business that is sustainable and even get to a point, if you wanted, that you have an exit strategy. Quick fixes don't work. Luck isn't, isn't sustainable. You need to do the work from the inside out. It's like getting a tea towel and wringing out all the crap and the pain and rebuilding yourself. You see, the thing is that you have to understand is people don't give a shit about who you are. They just care about what you can do to help them. So if you're stuck behind limiting beliefs and lies that you're telling yourself because you think people actually care about how you feel, then you're kidding yourself. You've got to, you've got to own this. You've got to get out there and just own it. How do you want the world to see you? And then that translates into your business. Okay, so this is so important because this is, this is how you position your business as the best. What is your competition doing? What is your differentiation? Build on that differentiation. But you need to understand what your business differentiation is. And you see clearer into your business and you can see solutions. You can connect with the right people to, to solve the problems in your business, to fill those gaps in the business, to position yourself as the best when you are the best. 
You connect you to your business when you function as the best that you can be. When you see your value, you own it. You get rid of the crap and the pain. You have that rubber and rub it all out. You get over stuff. You don't let trauma and stuff stop you from living the life that you were born to live. You bring that value into your business. You connect that value into your business and it overflows into your business. As I said to you, people are attracted to success. People are attracted to confidence. People are attracted to authenticity. How can you, how can you be authentic in your business results if you are untrue to you? Now, I'm going to ask that question again. How can you be authentic in your business as you offer business results if you are untrue to you? Remember, and always remember this, that energy is unconscious. You can tell when somebody's smiling with their mouth. You can tell when somebody is, tr is trying to think about something to say to you. You can tell when you, you, you actually can study how the face works and the eyes work and, and body language works so you can read people. You know, we, I can tell when somebody's lying, lying about something. You can tell when somebody's trying to remember something. You can tell when somebody is feeling something because it's not true. See, people can say something, that, but their physiology can say something completely different. Are you that person? Are you speaking a non-truth? Are you speaking a non-truth and expecting your physiology to be positive? It doesn't work that way. The only way that your business is going to get the results that you want is by you being true to you, connecting that truth and that authenticity and that value into your business. So the results in your business can just go boom and it flows into the marketplace. And then you start to stand above the noise and in front of the crowd. So what is your product and service? Go, let's, let's go to the practicalities of business. What does your product, what does your business do? Okay, what do you do? Do you sell shoes? Do you make coffees? Do you coach people? Do you run an organization? It was anything in between. What does your business do? Now, what is the result that your business offers? And what is the emotional benefit that your clients get from that result? Now, this is going into truly the heart and soul of the people that you want to work with. What does your business do? What is the result your business gets? And what is the emotional, what is the emotional benefit and value that your clients and customers feel because they're working with you? See, your business is the result. But that emotional stuff comes through from you because you are that value. The business doesn't have emotion. The people bring the emotion. And if you are lying, you are standing behind a lie and letting this BS of your unconscious drive your life, stopping you from being your true, brilliant self, then that is going to come into your business. Your smile with your mouth, the energy is going to, you're going to project an energy which people are going to pick up on and go, whoa, I don't want to work with you. You cannot hide behind a lie and expect to live the life that you want to live. It's time to step up, own who you are, get that rubber and just do it. Do one thing today. What is one thing that you know that if you did today, you, you would start to grow, your life will start to change. I liken it to a treadmill. If you're on a treadmill, you know, you're, you're moving a lot, you're moving a lot, you're moving a lot and the speed goes up and you're moving faster and you're getting busier on it on that treadmill and every cell in your body is just boom, 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 but you're not going anywhere. You're still on the treadmill. I want you to get off the treadmill. What is one thing, I want you to think about that right now, one thing that if you did it today, you'd be doing something different. You've got to do something different because your comfort, your comfort zone is set by what, by where you are today. And if you want to grow bigger and better and live the life that you want and have that freedom to do what you want, then you need to start stepping out of that comfort zone. All success, all success, step one is mental. And then you've got to be uncomfortable. You've got to be okay with being uncomfortable. And anytime you say, but, well, however, you know, is an excuse to keep you in that comfort zone. Feel sick, sad, lonely, unfulfilled. That's okay. Be okay with feeling all those things. But look around you. You will never, ever live the life that you were born to live. Ever. And I know that sounds pretty like, ah, that's a little bit, that's a little bit harsh, Sue, but it's the absolute truth. 
You need to know who you are. You need to know your value. You need to get out in front of that lie. You need to stand in front of that lie. Just absolutely delete the lie and own who you are with absolute confidence. And the only way you do that is by doing one thing right now today that is different. Get off the treadmill and start walking on the road, running up those hills, tripping over tripping over the curb, put, putting those bricks in that backpack and feeling, feeling that tension. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. That's okay. Feeling really hard and pushing through that hard stuff is what you need to be doing. You need to do different. And it's, it's, like, it's like training. You know, if you go to the gym every single day and you do the same old stuff, and oh gosh, you know, for a lot of you that know me, I started my career as a, as a personal trainer. Um, and, you know, people would come in and they'd do the same old thing, the same old thing, the same old thing. And you may know what that feels like. You go to the gym and you do the same old thing. Now, movement is great. And, and lifting some weights or doing what you're doing every single week is great. You've got movement happening and that's a good thing. But you want change. You want to change your body. You want to increase your energy. You want to increase your mental acuity. You want to build your health. You want a six pack. You want a lifted butt. Whatever it is that you want, you're only going to get better results when you do something different. You go into the gym and you do something different. You push through the hard. That 1% overload principle is a, is, is, is a technique that you use in the gym, just that 1% overload, but it relates to life and business as well. Use that 1% overload. What is what your 1% overload today that's going to give you better results in your business? Because if you are in business, Aren't you in business to make money? Aren't you in business to add a value to the world? Aren't you in business to live your purpose? Aren't you in business to give back more? And if you're in business to do all those things, which most of us are, then you've got to do it the right way. Otherwise, why do it? If you're not functioning in excellence, being outstanding and making sure that you're above the noise and in front of the crowd, you're wasting your friggin' time. So you've got to stop all the BS. Be okay with being your best self. God made you to be your best self. God made you to live in faith, not fear. So connect you with your business. Is, this is where you have to go to. This is the stuff that you need to do. Once you've got all this, once you've got that part of, your, of you and your business clear, once you know what you're doing, once you know the benefit, once you know the emotional connection, the, 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 the emotional like connection that your clients are going to get, why is that important? Okay, let's talk about your branding assets. This is a snapshot. So you've identified you, you've seen your value, you've made a decision today, because you are going to make a decision today, aren't you? To get out behind that lie and own who you are, be proud of who you are, be proud of who you are. I am bold, I am beautiful, I am brilliant, I am handsome, I am, I am. Do those I, I ams. Let your brain hear it. Start to believe it. Okay, so you're doing all of that. You've, you've walked into your business. You've identified what results your business, what, your, what results your business gets. You've decided to function in excellence and be outstanding. And so the energy in your business is going to be, is going to be projecting that to your potential clients. You're going to attract that and you're going to smile from your heart. Your energy is going to project abundance and success and gratefulness. This is what people are attracted to. If you've got any doubt and BS running it, oh, people are running the other way because they feel it, they see it, they know it. Okay, number one. Okay, so what are your branding? What do you do with your branding assets? So think about a logo. Your logo just represents you, but it doesn't represent you personally. It represents the experience that people have with you. So think about McDonald's. I ask this question because everybody knows what the, 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 the yellow arches are. So what do you think about when you see the yellow arches? I mean, really, what, do, what is the first thing that comes into your mind or what do you feel when you see those yellow arches? For me, it's kids' parties. We had so many fun times at McDonald's at when my kids were small. Had parties, been to parties, and we've had a lot of fun. So I see those yellow arches and I straight away smile. I think of the birthday cakes that I've made, I've taken, I'm thinking about the ice cream cakes we've had there. I think about all the fun that we've had with family and friends at McDonald's when my kids were small. And all I've seen is the yellow arches. So your people's experience with your branding assets has to be because of the work that you've done beforehand. 
the value of self, connecting that value of self with the, the, the values, the philosophies, projecting that energy into your business. So your business is getting those results. People see that logo, they go, oh my gosh, I love that person. I love that woman. I love that guy. I God, oh, the experience was amazing. Now they may, they may not think those words exactly, but they see your logo. They see your branding assets and they have an experience, a memory of an experience they had with you. That is what is going to make your phone ring. And then it's the consistency of doing it. You can't just do one thing, two things, three things, five things. You've got to do five things every single moment of the day. You've got to get your head into the game. If you truly want to get your seat above the noise and in front of the crowd and get your phone ringing, you do not have time off. You do not think, oh, I'm a bit exhausted. Now I'm going to take a week off. If you've got no money in the bank or you haven't got the money in the bank that you want, then you need to focus on doing this every single day. It has to be where your energy goes to. Why? Because you've got to start building that momentum. And I remember when I met Mark Wahlberg, and I haven't met people that don't know Mark Wahlberg. Oh, go figure. But if you know Mark Wahlberg, um, in fact, his company, Mark Wahlbergers, is now launched in Australia. Uh, but when, when I first met him, he was it, they were recognized as the fastest growing burg, private burger chain in America. So, you know, he's an A-list actor. And I remember him saying that, you know, the very he realized that success wasn't going to come knocking at his door. He realized that the, the roles that he wanted to play weren't going to come knocking at his door. So he went out into the world to find what he wanted, take action to find what he wanted. And the other thing that he said that is really relevant to what we're talking about today, he said that he, he knows when he puts his head into the game, whatever that is, he likes business, is he knows he's going to be successful because he trusts himself. Let me ask you, do you trust yourself? Do you respect yourself? You have to respect yourself if you're going to trust yourself. And we talk about this in last week's session. So I'm only going to just, just you know, just uh, get the top of the iceberg of it today. But he just said that he trusted himself. So he knew he was going to be successful because he trusted himself. But then he said one thing that really resonated with me is that he said, when you start building success and you start, you start building that momentum, Go faster, go stronger, go bigger, go better. Never get complacent when you start to get results. Start to really, start to get the momentum, reach out, really do everything at, at, at turbocharge, turbocharge that brain feeding, turbocharge those business relationships. And um, talking about relationships, and I know we're, we're, I'm, I'm sort of snapshotting different pieces. All of these pieces I'm talking about today can be sessions in themselves, but I want you to listen to it. And, and whatever, whatever grabs your attention is what you want to think about and what you want to work on. Okay. So when you think about business relationships, if you've done the work on self, you've got that value, you believe in yourself, you're building that confidence and that certainty that you are and you can and you will and you are, you, I am. You connect that with your business. You're going to start attracting people that want what you have. You're going to start attracting it. You want to start building that momentum up with that. And remember, you have to get to know the people before you do business. And when you know who you are, when you know your values, when you know the, the, the value that you bring and you know the results your business gets, and here's the big one. Here's the big one, guys. Never compromise on it. Never compromise on who you are. Never make excuses for who you are. Own who you are and never compromise on those values. Because then you'll start to know the people that you want to do business with. You get to know the person before you do business. And as you get to know the person, then you identify, you identify what values they have and whether they align with you. Because it's like having one rotten apple in a box of apples. All the apples will be rotten. And if you attract the wrong people into your business, and again, I don't care if you have a shoe shop, a cafe, a restaurant, uh, a coaching business, or your CEO of a company, if you attract the wrong people, one wrong person can be a rotten can be that rotten apple in a box of apples. So be mindful of that. That's why starting with you, connecting your values into your business is so important. You build that momentum and all of your branding assets represent that. How do you want the world to see you? You have to own that and, and be okay with that. If you're a little bit different, it doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. You just have to own who you are. Because I can promise you, there's going to be someone in the world who's going to connect with you and then somebody else and then somebody else. Be okay with who you are, but just be the best version of who you are. So that best version of you goes into your business and the results that you get in your business and not only the practical aspect and not only getting results, but also the emotion that people want from it. They see your logo, they see your website, they see your social media presence. They go, oh my gosh, I love that person. That's, that's how you get your brand above the noise and in front of the crowd. It's, I'm not going to tell you it's easy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's easy because being honest with ourselves and getting rid of this pain and the crap and standing in front of the lie because you pretend that people think people that you think you pretend that you pretend that think that people care about what you think. People don't care about what you think. And that's the thing. The only person that suffers if you're going to care about what the world thinks about you is you. You're the only one that's going to lose out. So be mindful of that. Be okay. And I'll go back to it. What is one thing today that you are going to do that is going to stretch you? You're off that treadmill. There's no more treadmill every single day. Um, we like to work with two words, results and revenue. And you get results in your business. You increase your revenue by doing everything that we are talking about today. So on that note, Caroline and Tom, Anything that you'd like to add in or ask me or think that you think that um, any questions come in from outside? Oh, I've just had one um, here. So in terms of brand story, and you're talking a lot about the emotional aspect and everything. So they've asked here, how can you use your brand story to actually help people get to know and relate to your own brand? Well, the story is so people, what, is, what do we say? Facts tell, stories sell. Um, but it's more about connecting emotionally. People want to know why they're doing business with you. If you connect with somebody and you know that that person is aligned with your values, um, it could be a client, it could be somebody to collaborate with, it could be somebody to, to partner in business with. If you know that your values are aligned and there's a, there's a, there's a like-mindedness in the mental space, then telling your story is the next piece of that emotional connection. Because your story may have pieces that actually even just build that rapport with that person or your audience deeper. You know, you don't always have to go into the detail of the detail, but knowing who you are, why you do what you do, the, the driver behind you, what is your purpose? It could be one sentence, one sentence. One of our sentences, uh, we want to make a startling difference to the world. One sentence. We have another sentence, together we conquer, because we believe when like-mindedness comes together, when like-minded growth, prosperity, abundant thinkers that connect heart with smart come together, then we can change the world, be worthy, well, and wealthy. So as you can see, we have sentences that identify the value that we offer to the world. We stand behind that. We live it. So your story helps to define the relationship that you want to have with your audience. And people love stories. Stories can make you smile. They can make you cry. They can inspire you. They can motivate you. They can give you ahas. Stories are part of you presenting yourself to the world. And that's why you need to start with how do I want the world to see me? Because you may have parts of your story that's okay. You don't need to share you as a holistic, you are, you are a holistic being and your business is a holistic entity. So you, you choose the parts of you that you want to share with your audience. And then when you get up close and personal with people you, and, and you get to know and trust the people that you're working with or a person that you're working with, then you can bring out little, little pieces of you from that story. But it's powerfully it's powerful when building the relationship building that trust knowing that you're being being where you are and doing what you're doing for the right reasons as I said and I'll go back to it we live in a world where it's information overload entrepreneurs are just floating around the world there's uh, hundreds hundreds and thousands of them for you to be the best You've got to think about what you need to do to function in excellence and be outstanding. And sharing your story from the heart gives that gives your brand that touch of authenticity. 
and it's the fun part makes your story fun you know give it a give it the why what and how well this is why I do this is what my story this is what my story is about and this is how I can help you within the story you want your story to to sell you without it being salesy if that makes sense but it's all about just developing rapport with your audience develop deep rapport with your audience depending on how much of your story you want to share and it gives people a reason why they want to spend money with you because that's what business is about you want people to take money from their bank and put it into your bank they've got to know why they're doing it and if you are projecting this confident, successful, authentic, trustworthy energy because you believe in you, then people will put their hand on their pocket, put, give, give their money to you because they want that change in their life. They want to wear those shoes, drink that coffee. You know, they want to change their world. They want to change their mind because they need help with either their life or their business. And if you're running an organization, if you are uh, if you are the, the CEO or managing an organization, then really knowing this about your people is powerful strategy for success. Happy, healthy people simply perform better. They perform better. You make bigger profits. So it, it's it's not rocket science, but because it's all about the person and all about you, it becomes hard because being honest with ourselves, I think, is one of the most challenging things we do in the world, in life, in your space. Telling yourself you're this because straight away you want to justify it. Straight away you want to make excuses for it. Straight away that, oh, I don't really do that. I don't do that, but you do. And if you're honest with yourself, this is why. Here's your value. Connect your value to your business business results. Project all of this out to the world. You will see that you will stand above the noise and in front of the crowd. Now, you know, developing your branding assets and developing a strategic plan and really getting your marketing message right, that's the next step of the process, which we can help you with. So please click on the link in this post, download the brand creative and because you're listening to this today, when you download the brand creative, we'll also give you a brand and business review for free, just a gift to you so that you can really see what gaps that you have in your business and in you. Remember, number one success step is all mental. So get off the treadmill, start climbing those hills and breaking through that 1% overload principle. Tom, do you have anything you'd like to add? Can't hear you. No, I guess from um, from all that you said there this morning, so I mean, I I summarised it in um, I wrote a couple of things down. I guess um, it's branding is really about having a memorable impression, yeah. leaving a memorable impression. And from what you said there, I guess the key is uh, understanding self. But Aside from self, it's what, what we're really trying to do here is distinguish ourselves from the competition. How are we distinguishing ourselves or clarifying that what we offer makes us the better choice? That's it. We have and to be the better choice. How do we be the better choice by everything we've talked about today? Absolutely. And that's that's what I've been able to summarise, the, the, the headspace, the head stuff, the story we tell ourselves. I mean, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It keeps so many of us stuck. And we're either going to be honest with ourselves, like you said, and get off that treadmill, or keep doing the same thing over and over and over. And that definition of insanity that we all know, expecting the same results, but they just don't come. I love the, uh, I love, I love hanging out with people that have a greater net worth than us because I love the conversations. I love the energy. It's a continue, it's a, it's a continual growth. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter where you are, and, and you, you've heard me say this before, but, you know, people have said to me, it's okay for you, Susie, you know how to do it, but I know how to get to you to where we are, but we are on that same ladder with multi, multi-millionaires and billionaires and listening to what they do, listening to their heart and their smart and listening to their success strategies. It's like doing that, doing that, ah, I've got to do that better and then focus on doing that better. You know, it's waking up every morning and saying, what do I need to do today? that's different, that's better? Am I on the treadmill or am I off the treadmill and pushing myself through that 1% overload principle? Now, if you're on the treadmill and you're changing the speed and you might be looking at something different on the screen or you might be listening to something different, you know, but you're still on the treadmill. 
try not to think that just because you may be doing something different in your busy on the treadmill doesn't mean that you're creating change because you've got to get off the treadmill and be uncomfortable. You've got to be uncomfortable. And your branding assets need to need to reflect all of what we're talking about. Your branding assets, your Facebook, your Facebook images, your Facebook posting, your Instagram. Um, we're working with a new social media group at the moment. And, you know, that we're just defining our look and feel on, on, on Instagram. And I said to them the other day, I said, when it comes to me, please don't make me perfect because I'm not perfect. I'm messy sometimes. And so my brand is not perfect. Caroline's hair is always perfect. Caroline is perfect. Me, my hair can be messy. It can be all over the place. It can be up, it can be down. It can be on a cap. I am not perfect. So my personal brand does not reflect perfection. You can look at some Instagram profiles and they're perfect. They're just Everything is just perfect. And that's wonderful. So this is why you need to be true to who you are before you can go and design your website, your social media. You need to know how you want the world to see you. It's that simple. That is not rocket science. And just always remember that the only thing getting in your way is you. So on that note, Caroline, anything else come on or would you like to add anything else this morning? No, I think it's just following on from what you just said there, how important brand perception is and that that alignment with you. And it's seen consistently across all platforms and the way you look, the way you, you know, how do you want your customers to talk about, about you and how do you want to be seen? Yes. How do you want your customers to talk about you? You know, what do you want people to say when you leave the room? Think about that. And what do you think they're saying right now? Just always remember that being true to you is, is your responsibility. Nobody else can do that for you. Nobody else can change what's in your head. You can have people brain feed, but you have to be responsible for actually taking the action and doing it so get off the treadmill start today i am brilliant bold brave three great words to start with i am brilliant bold brave i function in excellence i offer outstanding results and here's the other thing that i want you to be or i want you to think about and this is another big subject for another day but if you're going to promise outstanding results then you have to be able to honor that if you want to be paid if you want to be paid as being the best, you have to be okay with being the best. And if you offer outstanding results, then you have to function in outstanding state. Does that make sense? You can you can play small. You can you can play the game you're playing and be in the crowd and you can make some money. You may even make a living. But if you want to change your world, you have to be brave, brilliant, and bold. You have to function in excellence and you have to be okay. You have to sell that you offer outstanding results. And you know what that does for you? And, and I know for me, I know personally for me, I step up every single day. What can I do better? What can I do different? And sometimes you muck up. I had a client yesterday call, a message saying, I need to talk. Can we talk? And I said, I'm out shopping. Can I, can I, can I call you later? I didn't get back until seven o'clock. So I made a mess. A, send a message and apologize we're going to talk today so you know own your mistakes apologize we're all human open communication is all about being honest up front say what you think do what you say make promises if you can't keep promises then talk about it give the reasons just don't switch off people are people are amazing you know you know you've got to do you've got to do branding tasks mindfulness tasks business tasks you know, whatever it is that we're working with you on, you've got tasks to do. And if somebody doesn't do the task, then they don't talk. And they think that we don't know that they haven't done the task. I mean, you know, this is where you have to switch on the intelligence as well. Being outstanding means you've got to switch on your brain. You've got a brain feed. So you're developing mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially every single day. And you can do that, can't you? I know you can. Now, you want to get your brand right. You're starting out and you want to get this. You want to start out the right way. You want to know what your, your, your values, your philosophies, you know, your, your marketing messages to the world. Then please click on the link, get the brand creative, 
you will book you will immediately go into have a obligation free brand and business review where you'll know immediately whether you've got a mental gap or you've got a physical gap or one of your branding assets this could be another problem. You're thinking one thing, wanting one thing, but your branding assets, your, your profile doesn't say what it needs to say. So you've got to know this. This is essential for you to be seen above the noise in front of the crowd and get your phone ringing so your bank account can go ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. On that note, have a wonderful week. Remember, you're amazing. You deserve to live your healthy, wealthy, rich life. I am off to America tomorrow. <laughs> getting a little bit excited now um so we will be i will be we will be coming well i will be coming from america next monday morning or next sunday evening what day do you fly out caroline i'm a week today so so on tuesday next tuesday week today, oh okay 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 yes. so caroline will be in australia next monday i will be i will be calling in from from america from los angeles tom will be here in australia until then have a wonderful week be safe wherever you are remember get off that treadmill what's one thing you need to do today that could change start changing your world for the better have a wonderful week see you guys bye everybody